Sai Reese K, and I am from London. Does a life have meaning? Yes, 100% life has meaning. Um, although I didn't obviously used to think so at all, I thought it was meaningless. My life before Jesus was a mess. Um, I was very, very lost. I was diagnosed clinical depression, manic depression from a very early age um, and I eventually ended up uh, being a daily heroin user and drinking in the mornings for years. So I was suicidal every day. Every day I used to think about death. I was hopeless and not one time through any of that did I even think about turning to God thinking that there was a real God. I was in the music industry, I got into a band, I moved away from my family. In Brighton my band were just taking off. These two fans of the band, I swapped numbers with the brother, it was a brother and sister. The mother started talking to me about, about God and then the two, the brother and sister were saying, we love your music, we like you, like, but there's something like you're, you're in trouble, you know, and we want to save you, like we see something in you. And I was limping at the time. I had uh, so basically an alcohol-induced arthritis. The mother, she sat me down and she said, can I pray for you. First time I've ever heard the concept of anybody praying for anybody else. I was like 25. And she goes, get up and walk. And I walked and I remember the pain was still there. But the next day, the, it had gone. She goes, do you ever find that you, you're, you're striving to get somewhere? You can only go so far in life without Jesus. And I'll never forget her saying that to me. When I was 26, I was locked up in a mental institution. So one night, I, I, I remember like looking at, like realizing I'm a mental patient. Really, when the thoughts of like, I could do it now, I could, I could just wipe myself off, off the earth. And I, I pray for the first time in my entire life. If you are real, you have to do something about it because I cannot take this anymore. The second I put my hands down, the phone in my room rang. The second, it was the front desk, and they said they have a Mrs. Yeboa on the phone for you. I, I don't remember it, but I must have emailed Jake, the, the, my friend, her son, the brother. So the phone rings, and it's her. We just found out, Jake just told us where you were, I've just got hold of you, I'm in church, I'm with, my, I'm with my gospel choir, I'm with my whole congregation, and we're all praying for you right now. And the, I just hear a gospel choir praying for me, singing to me down the phone. And I put the phone down and I started bawling. I felt hope for the first time. I felt something that I knew was different to what I grew up with, that it was another way. And that's when I met Jesus. And that's what my life looked like before. So I ended up working a lot in LA and met my future wife. One day we go to the, the, the dog park there's an English girl there, Esther. She starts talking to me. Met her husband, Rob. Now, there's no mention of, of God or church or anything. It was just a chat. And at the end of it, Rob came back. And he's like, well, maybe we should swap numbers. And we ended up working together. Me, me and Rob got very friendly, but again, never talked about God, ever. And my wife said to me, you know, Rob and Esther are like hardcore, like Christians. And I asked Rob, I said to him, can I come to your church? He was like, yeah. And didn't really make a big fuss of it either. And it wasn't anything like I thought it would be. It wasn't religious jargon. It was no, it wasn't, it was almost like, this isn't a religion. This is your relationship with your creator. For the first time in my life, I was not on medication and I was so used to that feeling, and it, and it went. I have a family that is not a blood family, who like, I actually am of value to. I help, and they help me. And I've never had that before. The thing that was different this time, as opposed to when I met Jesus, when I was in hospital, um, was not doing it alone. I mean, Rob 
is like everything to me. He's my one of my biggest confidants. We tell each other everything. That like he's gonna be my my brother until the end. He right. means everything. If someone was to ask me, what does Jesus mean to me? Restoration, new life. And I've shown full forgiveness and not held on to it inside, pretending. Like, I've been free, you know? Um, I've never felt free before.